Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues A to Z series in which we're playing as Dunder, which I actually have done before. I've not done them, so. We love a guy named Jacobo or Jacob Dunder, and we got a little story about him and our nation, humanity. It is the most important aspect of our lives, humanity. On today's debate, Jacob Dundurn and Gloria Chase debate the topic and what does she mean? And the dandies. Jacob Dundurn has been very outspoken with his distrust for newfound leaders in Stoom, but Gloria Chase prefers to focus on what's here in Dundurn. Chase, the greatest dawn to ever grace humankind. Oh god. When I was a girl, the trains did not run. The power flickered and water ran short every other day. My father died of tuberculosis, and I was left with a mother who was lost, a sheep with no shepherd to guide her. My work has always been to promote the common welfare of mankind, to push us forward into the time when we can be better to one another. If, not just for ourselves, but for whom we love most. From Pleasantdale to Dundurn, I've spoken to them all. Rich party goers and steel factory workers. Do you know what they all had in common? Sorrow, regret, depression. The human mind is flawed. Like a broken record, we are doomed to this horrible, horrible cycle where we do nothing but repeat our mistakes time and time again. And we cry over it because we cannot understand our own failings. That, my friends, is why I created the Rosewood Foundation. So that you and I may transcend our earthly mistakes. It is in this righteous steel that we shall be united. No more shall there be such petty distinctions, such as ghoul or smooth skin, mutant or man, or even man or woman. The future of the world is just over the horizon, a golden sunset by which we shall prepare for the greatest dawn to ever grace humankind. Amen. Well, was this meant to be cute? Uh, so right now we're the least of a Jacob, we go by intellectuals. Hmm. Chase versus Dundurn humanity. Dundurn. And what of your metal men, Miss Chase? Do you think the people of Dundurn want them to be their successors? I can't name a man who would gladly let a walking skeleton take his place, let alone leave his own flesh and blood to become one. Chase. It's not succession that my work provides, Mr. Dunder, and it's transcendence. The human form is susceptible, unevolved for the horrors of the modern world, for every great mind ten more meet their end to what lay beyond the stage. The background radiation, the blizzards, the men of Bank End, these are all common threats, Mr. Dunder, and foes that can surpass. We can surpass merely through body. Dunder. And then why, pray tell, must we forsake our flesh to do so? Can we not force this evolution that you speak of? It is so far-fetched to have faith in the body. Chase. You would find yourselves hard-pressed trying to play God, Mr. Dundurn. Unlike what you propose, my work does not preclude unity, after all. It is your goons that pester Dr. Toboggan's asylums and look around the Pleasantdale Woods, do they not? The debate continues. Dundurn. And Dundurn. We believe every man to be equal. Super mutants and fairies are abominations, undeserving of even a passing glance. Miss Chase, I shouldn't have to say that those men do not represent my endeavors, but I will let the record show this. They certainly serve the people of Dundurn more than you. It takes action, not words, to stir the hearts of the people. Chase, your advocacy is as damning as it is amusing. I found that for any form of civilized philanthropy to have any meaning, it must be without callousness, unmasked by greed. Your work details a plan to subvert the human error, to create an immortal beyond, being beyond fault. Such a thing is not motivated by the common good, it is mere arrogance, the idea that you and those who follow you are deserving of standing above the downtrodden. When I speak of transcendence, I speak with equal latitude, the future of humanity is not with broken cells and maddened science, but by cautious expansion of the human design. Dender. Your words circle with irony. A man who chooses to follow a man who has achieved immortality is a man deserving of, of the future. It takes a visionary to help identify a visionary, Miss Chase, and unlike you, I believe in the ability of man to discern truth from life, or from I. Why should a man forsake his flesh for some silly prattle when he can merely boost his own? To keep one's soul is to keep one's consciousness. This is the basic law of nature. Jacob's points resonated well with the aristocrats. Experience, a little manpower, more electricity and elites. This chase's ascension ideals prevail. More stability, manpower. Uh, get a little more production of stuff. And God dang, I don't know which way to go. Because we have staying the course, economic re retread, versus to change a world. They call them supper. Superman auxiliaries, huh? Versus like Pandora's box for robotics. It seems like if you go this route, you go get robotics, which seems kind of cool. And you get implant access technology. It was all states by the student dandies. Metis Congress. Build and complete the machine. Vision recovery. Adamant adamantium bones. Mankind 2.0 versus Lazarus rejected. Which I kind of want to see what this route is just because this is where we're starting with. Maybe we'll just stay the course for now. Let's go with the elites. We're going to stay with the course. Um, let's see what happens. The kingdom. Perhaps the greatest Ravid of Dundurn, the kingdom of Manitoba, has long since been a heated to topic within Dundurn's demands. Tonight, Mr. Dundurn and Miss Chase go to toe on the topic. But Jacob Dundurn. He's the origin of the Dundurn fortune, former Grand Electorate, and magnate of arms. Jacob has a shadow that it seems he cannot escape from. The loss of Stoon to a simpleton wastelander. The Dundurns. Under the title of governor for 95 of the 145 years of elections, and now Jacob lost it all. 
What's worse is rumblings from the other electrodes of reform, revolt, and escape should any of these pieces fall to Jacob's disadvantage. Long running power of the dungeons might finally come crashing down. If you want to read about the legacy of Timothy Lutterholt, please go right ahead. Go to Chase University. <clears throat> the Dandies. Dundern. Something needs to be done about uh, Pierre Solomon and his boot looking uh, guppies and stoom. Destroy the very sacred nature of our elections and therefore undermine the good faith of the people. Chase, as I recall, it was you who lost the seat Dundern has held over for a century, Mr. Dundern. Don't you think it's reason enough to cast doubt over your tenure? Dundern. <clears throat> and I suppose you don't find it suspicious in the slightest that I lost out to cannibal whoremongers. Come now, Miss Chase. It isn't really hard to see if you pay attention. Chase. I am playing plenty, and from what I can see, you are a failure too afraid to admit it. The people of Dunder do not want you anymore. Your dynasty is ending, and you are the first victim of your family's ineptitude. It's perfectly natural to react as you have, frightened and screaming against the turning tide. It's a shame that it did not validate your cause. Dunder. The Dannys are circus freaks. Do you trust them to rule over us with a fair and just hand, Miss Chase? Chase. The people of Dunder have no need to fear the Dandies. Do you know why? Because they are in Stoon, Mr. Dunder, and we are not. No man or woman in Dunder has ever had dandy teeth graze their neck, but you know what else they have experienced? Chucking smog, poor working conditions, unethical and unfair wage changes. These are our plagues, Mr. Dunder, not savages in suits. Elections were rigged by the dandies. The dandies were not Dunder's concern. I guess we'll go with uh, staying the course. The Dunder elite won out. Jacob's madness prevailed. And it was the spectacle of Oh, the guts of Dunder. Everyone has a catcher story. His namesake serves as a cautionary tale for grown men and women alike. Watch what you say or whose shoes you step on, and the catcher will look the other way. Always masked, always on the move, armed lighter than the average mercenary, but thrice as deadly. Catchering is a heavy prize for a guaranteed hit, but the captain never wasted on a catcher hit. He cleans up good, rendering camps, rooms, and halls dead quiet. Like the old sign says, dirty deeds, done and cheap. I should have won to be on his bad side. Catch can be utilized in a decision to raise compliance and lower resistance in occupied states. Oh. So we have the Spectre Cabal. Um, all sorts of stuff here. What do I talk about? I guess we can read about this one. The Spectre Cabal is famed for strange chapels, more like strange co corner clubs with decadent decorum. Airy regenerative technologies derived from ancient manifest hardware litter the various pools, giving them a healing property like no other. The Cabal claimed that this is the work of a wolf god that saw this come to fruition. Whatever the case may be, they're incredibly helpful. Also, we're using Old World Blues tech expansion as well. That's a sub-mod, so... The good works of General Pariah Hawkman. Stoking a flame. Listen, we all know the score. Solomon likes to play a toy soldier in his high castle, pretending like he gives a darn about any of the rest of us. Uh, we're more than a few bases away from a home run, so why don't we just quit beating around the bush and play ball? I'm sick and tired of being second fiddle. I've served the electorate for uh, two decades. I've done a darn good job at it. I'm not really getting sidelined by some schmuck in a ratty old suit. Games change, boys. Time to be changed, too. Interesting. Pariah gets a cigar. Pushing for a war effort, homeless, on your luck, looking for a fresh start. The Dundern Originals have you covered, and then some on us today. Dundern Newspaper Printout. It's like, it's times like two years ago that I keep wondering, where's all the Patriots gone? And then I realized they didn't go anywhere. They just had nothing to believe in. Well, here I am, and now the people have something to look up to once again. If that ain't fuel for a poem, I don't know what is. I want to watch Kingdom Fall. I want it all or not at all. Huh. Senior's in a gift. Oh, I thought that piece of crap was a thorn in the world's side. Just another uppity old guy on his way out of the world. Kind of like me, if you think about it. Too bad my therapist tells me my ego is bigger than my good sense. Uh, what say we don't remind him what's happened uh, to his knights? Huh. Dundern, are you afraid, Dundern? Hark, beloved people of Dundern, I would have a few words with you all, if you do not mind. For decades, our fair country has pushed the electric forward with their own progress. It was Dundern Steel that elevated the Muppets and Stoon from mere fishes out of water into a petty sycophants that now share our border. It was Dundern tax money that paid for the asylum in Waka and, so and all of its sold medicines. It was the genius of Dundern scientists that kept the lights on in Pleasantdale. The elector has reeked of our might for generations and what now? Pierre Solomon sits atop his own high tower, giggling at his own disenfranchised and turning his nose hop high against our interests. We are the men and women that hold this pathetic collection of states upon our backs. It is our mind, our brawn, and our might that has kept the enemies of this great nation at bay. So who was it again who stopped unless you dead in her tracks? Was it Solomon, weeping over his lost caps? No. It was a pariah hawk moon, one of our most fearless leaders. Where is her statue, statue in Stoon, I wonder? Where is her statue, Pierre? Loud booing and cheers can be heard, and in the garbled audio, a curse directed at Pierre Solomon can be heard. We live in spite of our neighbors, in spite of our enemies. Our hatred is but a reflection of our passion. For our love, our love for all that is good, we shall push ever onwards into the future with a nary a fear in our hearts. Though uh, our enemies may openly sit upon us, to have our revenge, first we must rejoice. To laugh in the face of darkness is to be fearless. So tell me then, people of Dundon, are you afraid? Speak my language. His radical outlook disturbs us. Spectral Cabal. They are a group of high society individuals originating from Pleasantdale. 
Having experienced the same mutations from Redfern usage, most mass destabilization and restabilization, the problem packed mewing of poetic ideas and indulging drugs. Recently, prophetic dreams have haunted the Cabal, uh, illustrating a woman they call Saint Lake, or Loke, and a chapel of healing resembling a familiar abandoned facility not too far out from the city. Um, I've uh, read both of these before, so if you know about Radio Freedom, as well as Lester's Wake, please go ahead. Cool, the kingdom. Dunder, since you have such great opinions, Miss Chase, why don't we talk about Manitoba? Chase, if you refer to the bloody history we share with them, I have little interest in such qualms beyond how Dunder may benefit. Dunder. Little interest, do you mean to imply that the deaths of many Dundon regulars don't matter to you? Chase, it's not my business whether a man chooses to go to war, Mr. Dundon, only that I may equip him with the finest so that he may accomplish his mission as best as possible. Last I recall during the war, your family failed to supply many of our originals with proper supply, said hogging the materials produced from the Dundon war machine for personal interests. Dundon, blatant slander. 85% of all that was made in those facilities was shuffled to the front lines immediately. The rest were taken to satellite sites so they could be kept on hand. If we wish to discuss the matter of wastefulness and greed, Miss Chase, allow me to return the favor and bring up to the controversy surrounding your Rosewood Foundation. A non-profit organization dedicated to what? Reinventing mankind? Have you ever gotten the city you are in? Chase. No, this city is all too painful a reality to ever forget, Mr. Dundern. And yes, Rosewood comes out of my own conference to which I can manage, though we are not entirely a non-profit. We lend our services to those who need an educated mind. Dundern, and would, who would these people be exactly? Does your Dundern-based operation lend itself to Pleasantdale royalties? Chase? No, actually. We help the poor, and allow them to pay us on the terms. We take offers and operate off of them accordingly. Dundurn, so you regress to a petty bartering? Chase? No, we've adopted common sense. She helped me fix a broken pipe in my house? Genius drags her again. Old drudges. The people of Dundurn will always despise the cannibalistic filth of Stoon. The Dundurn riots. Ooh, we're losing daily political power and weekly stability. Oh, that's terrible. Well, we can go this way. I wouldn't mind racing down here because you get another research slot, which is pretty strong. The army as it, as it stands. Now we can listen to rioters for way more political power and weekly stability. And even more political power. Workers' rights versus this riot cannot stand. Loose stability. You get slightly better weekly stability. And eventually weekly better stability. Purge riot. Well, you know what? We're going to go to war soon. If you don't know this group, uh, we'll end up going to war very, very soon. So let's see what happens. The army as it stands. Dundurn's army is a pride of the electorate, whether anyone in student or pleasant jail wants to admit it or not. Last grand war ban. Following Pierre Sullivan's victory in the election, a war ban will be mobilized to soothe the more advantageous uh, or adventurous electorate. But Pierre made it clear that any mobilization would be seen as a forfeit of electoral position. The days of scaring the kingdom are over. At least our plunder will hold us off for a while. The legacy of Timothy Little Hope. Little Hope doctrine remains fresh in people's minds, even after his passing. The people are galvanizing into their own little cliques. Uh, working against each other with a point of hatred growing in their hearts. And recovering from Lushy. Months ago, a colossal mutated rattlesnake tore through our country. A recovery teams worked to rebuild what was destroyed and salvage what we can from our shittings that she left behind. The results are in. The winner of the people's heart is Jacob Dendron, as though it could be any other. Dendron, elite went out. Jacob's madness prevailed. Men we can count on. Re up in Allen Hills. Ooh, four more arms workshops. Jesus, that's good. What really makes a man? What am I doing this one next? Because we get 5% more division defense is not bad. It could be better, but we'll prize law. I don't give an F if Jacob or Glory is the one barking up my tree, but we really need some men we can count on. And with me, I know how to pick them from Pariah. So, yeah, we only have three Eustace slots, don't we? Yeah. That's not ideal. These guys are average. So going down this route... Do we get any benefits here? Rewarding the spark blades, like Thieves in the Night, Super Mutant Recruitment. Hard work is a hap is happy work. Do not bite hands, seeing is believing. Taking care of our guests. The impossible. Strain human experimentation. The eternal price. That's why I want some daily army XP, anyways. Uh, I have no idea what route we're going to go down. So, we're not mutants. I assume conventional warfare? I really have no idea. Asymmetric warfare? And we have enforcers, don't we? Yeah, Dundurn's finest. Voice and tactics. Locals. Include militia and lawkeepers. Locals. Enforcers get more soft attack. 
Army more breakthrough, army recovery rate. Infantry, is that considered enforcers too? Yeah. More breakthrough. You know what? We could try to use them. What are our tech levels like? Cybernetics. Uh, we're pretty average on everything. We do have old oh, tech expansion. So we get all the way up to advanced riot gear, which is not bad. We don't get elite riot gear, but advanced riot gear is not bad. 32 eventually. We can try to risk it, and because we do have conventional warfare versus land doctrine experience. We can try it. This is probably going really badly for us. Family, Jason Tatters. Oh, what do you about that? Please go ahead. Oh, maybe we should read this one. It says Dungeon. Uh, just near the northern Saskatchewan River, the body of Maxwell Trace was found hanging from a tree branch by a White Birch Society huntsman in life. He was the founder of Modern Pleasantdale and the co-creator of the Fairy Program. With the help of Dungeon workers, he brought many qualities of life changes to life in the electorate, including widespread television. Oh, God. Uh, <clears throat> uh, though perhaps his most famous was his Spices in Every Kitchen memoir, where he gave extended rants on unsalted meat. On the deceased personage, was a manifesto detailing his intention of suicide remains unreleased to the general public. In the meantime, to keep the peace in Pleasantdale, his personal assistant, Hope, has been gun to assist his only living child, Frankie Chase. Hope's relations to the destiny have caused some to question, but advisors close to Chase in this life state that she is acting with sound mind and worrying just as wasted energy. Not so pleasant after all. The Dundon Regulars. Years ago, the Dundon Regulars held the line against Manitoba influence. We have once again, may have once been part of the kingdom, but we've never wanted it uh, at all. A smog and ash here may be choking, but it is ours, and we'll fight any tooth and nail to keep it that way. Our own soldiers wear the steel of their knights as tokens of mockery for their own protection. This iconog icon iconography strikes a fear into our enemies, a sort of one would feel, feel seeing their enemy's skin on someone else's body, and for that we wear it with pride. Let them know that we stand for freedom and above monarchs. Pariah Hawkman herself is perhaps the most infamous of these regulars, standing both against a king and a snake with a raging confidence that most men can help to strive for. Our army stands strong. Against the kingdom's lands. Yeah. Dunder munitions. Well, what are we missing here? Tons of infantry equipment. We need some infantry armor. We're making some more infantry anyways. Um, we'll do that and do this one. Dunder's finest two, maybe. Well, I guess we could probably do this ride cannot stand. I'm going to assume we go the left path, we go left. Listening to the rider seems more like a, to change a world idea, so. The Duquesne Private Detective Company has been a tremendous useful force in recent years. An investigation shall be mounted against the rioters, and with any luck, they'll be back to being quiet. It's worked soon enough. So we'll see. Because I know everything is supposed to explode here at some point. Do we have a, a trade node? No, I think Stu is a trade node, isn't it? Yeah. I'd like to get more money. We have 0.23. That's not very much. Um, hmm. There's hope. Because I would like to get all this. We can at least get more weekly stability because we'll need that eventually. Um, encouraging militia groups, huh? It's not bad. You're opening Allen Hills? I mean, I guess we have no stability, anyways. It's been a town, a prison, now it's going to be a little bit of everything. We've got plenty of POWs and crab heels we can put to work making guns for our guys. I'm keen on putting them to task from Pariah. I don't want to go the right route until we get the, our thing done or resolved with this political power stuff. Trade girl's nice. I guess you can go weekly map if you really wanted to, but I don't really have to. It's only two. Not much. So I guess we'll go with, uh, you know what, we'll go with the Golden Cat go maybe. But that gives us more stability. Hmm. Daily arm XP sounds pretty good. Arise dependability. Nice.
Because right now we're doing okay. We could use more of everything, though. Um, cleaning house? Finding the purple response for this little union will be easy. Find the most squeamish bastards in the whole lot and crunch them into the paste until they crack. Purge or eye. If cleaning house won't crack the egg, then let's stir the yolk inside out. For anyone who wants to pick it on any means necessary, make him wish he just ate on the line. What really makes a man? A man is a con constituted of his cells, yes, but it's a matter of one's soul that is tantamount. Without soul, we're just animals wreathing in our own filth, pretending to have meaning. Securing our bets, huh? So when do we explode? Oh, look at that. 4% stability. Catcher brings a gift. Hmm. My sister 4% went out zero. Catcher returned today with a gift. Oh, look at this. Uh, something stolen during Pierre Sullivan's wedding from his estate. Contained within his delivery was a journal belonging to the Grand Elector himself, detailing his plans to rig the last election and sweep it out from under Dendron once and for all. As if that wasn't darning enough, even enough to paper trail that Catcher oh so generously followed, leaving us with a list of names and counts they used to perform it. He undermined the goodwill of democracy and threw out the honor system that the electorate's voting had previously operated on. Were to reach a public, this scheme would undoubtedly result in utter chaos. Have you ever made an omelet? Nice. If this gets blown up, I'm gonna blame nobody. Benjamin Robertson, huh? Oh, you're gonna the day of infamy? Please go ahead. Pretty normal. Uh, how much money do we have? I don't mind buying more guns. Yeah, that's cheap for us. Cheapish. Yeah, hey, that's not bad. Manifest. Oh. Stone dandies, huh? Pierre Solomon, you cheater. The election was rigged. The election for the Grand Electorate was fraught with controversy and discussion for decades. <clears throat> The Dundurn State had held the title, their great industrial populace and the might of the spark blades gave them a great stake in the vote. It was another great surprise when the dandies of Stune won this time instead, spurring the likes of Timothy Littlehope and Gloria Chase to send to power within their demands. But recent news indicate that suspicions were incorrect. For, correct. Pierre Solomon conspired with other, several other notorious nobles within Stune to rig the election in their favor and undermine Dundurn once and for all, already bloodthirsty riders belligering in the streets. Democracy was sabotaged? Oh my god. About what drove God from Dundurn? The church fought hard to keep his lands in Saskatchewan. We drove them from it with laser and beam with joyous glee. We'll do it again, too, if we need to. Uh, oh, crap. I was supposed to read that. Well, my apologies. I just clicked a little bit too fast. Uh, well, here we are, I guess, everybody. Good luck with the war. I guess we're going to go in if we possibly can. As best we can, I guess. There we go. Now we're in a big old mess, aren't we? Hmm, they have power on us, not ideal. Can we ignore these guys? Can we move here fast enough? Probably not. So here's the goal. We're just going to make more divisions and fill out our line. They attack us, we attack them. It's going to be pretty normal. Infantry's attacking, whatever. I'd like to make encirclements, but there's nothing, no real place where we can make a really good encirclement. And our, our line's going to be really big and long, too, so... Warrior training. Uh, like I say, we have Overall Blues tech expanded on here. Um, I'd like to do that one, but I guess not. Ladders wouldn't be bad. We'll get up without immediately. Or manpower, probably. Industry planning, not bad. Construction speed, yes. Could we win here? Yes, maybe. That'd be nice. Oh, hello. Well...
Do you have anything unique on you? Inspirational. You can be the infantry leader for now. Oh, you guys separate though. Catcher. Is it a lone wolf? Not ideal. Really, really, really not ideal. We could go local leader. Up to 10 divisions. You know, I'll go with that one. Why not? Motorized fire team. Motorized enforcers. I mean, these guys are enforcers, so. What you doing here? So the goal is encirclements, as it always is in Hoi 4. Quite not winning there now. Not ideal. I'd rather you defend here. For the most part, just defend. Prize law. It's not bad. More worse, but would be good. But I want to race through this one, too. Look good. Oh, look at all this. So, we have down here. We're down here. New recruits. Uh, I assume new routines. Walking infantry would be good for, uh, yeah, enforcers. Economic advisors. Pretty normal. Uh, that's good. So they have what? Uh, quite a few, quite a few, quite a few. Hey, you actually survived. Look at that. And you what? You defeated a robot division already. That's great. Another division? Fantastic. Let them kill each other off, too. I mean, that would be nice as well. But then we're gonna go with what? Uh, Wade Wilson. I want more political power. Trade your opinion of us factor? Not bad. Person in the community would be good too. Yeah, more civilian trade income. But I like the PP. We're here for PP. Giant PP lovers, you know. The normal stuff. Right now we're out of guns and infantry armor, which is not ideal. The one that fire is nice. What needed? Device tools is good. They're running around. You're gonna lose there, but that's alright. You keep beating them up here. Message from Dernan Duquesne. Hey there, I want to thank you personally for your choice in allowing the Duquesne family to handle your matters for years. We've had pride ourselves on dealing with the rabble. Now I'm not the kind of schmuck to get involved in politics, so I'm not keen on where you stand in all this mumbo jumbo, but if you ask me, I'd bruise a thousand of these pricks if they figured out what the heck the job really is. You know what I mean? Don't bite up more than you can chew. Don't bite the hand that feeds. That kind of stuff. Dumb mother efforts have it coming. Time and time again, Corsair bitchin' makes my business. Makes me business. Don't, don't keep in touch. I'm always around. BD. Right in the game, thanks. Um, we need guns. Hey, no longer losing weekly stability though. At least that's a positive for us. You know what? Hold. Oh, yeah, special forces, that's why they're doing so well. Go here too. Nice. Portal command, that's not bad. 
I, I do want more weapons to build it up. Oh, would you look at that? That looks like a room for a potential encirclement. Okay, more, uh, more organization first. You're being down by one. That's not ideal. You guys go here, maybe. See what you can do. What the other infantry division? Oh, yes, please. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, no. Who could have ever seen that one coming? Yeah, with Dundurn, it's actually not, it's not too terrible. Um, yeah. Oh, no. Yay. Three, how many divisions do I have? Three to seven? We could just walk all the way in there, probably. In all honesty. Well, Dana would be good, too. Are they a trooper now? If you do that, you might be able to capitulate like this. Interesting. Of course, they have the robot divisions, too. Spread out so they're not getting circled. Hopefully. Dang it! Well, we definitely, definitely turned it into a gigantic mess, did we not? Reduce, reuse, and recycle. Every day, some poor fool leaves a weapon out in a rot to rot in a ditch, either in a drunken bout or from losing it to authorities. These abandoned weapons, be they from us or otherwise, we we'll never find their way into a chest, forced by our declaration that every weapon to be in use, and so that all find their way back into shops or hands of our regulars. Not a gun wasted, such is our motto. This is good. Good. That's your going for defense, I don't care. This is certainly something here, is it not? We're gonna lose a little bit of the student dandies, but in the meantime, I mean, this is an opportunity we cannot pass up. To trying to defeat three divisions, very important. Nice. And boom, there you go. Two divisions left, I and mean, they are robots, which sucks for us, but still. Great last war band. We still out of guns, yes, sir. Good. We got encirclements all over the place here, don't get me wrong. But once one of these, oh, the vision died. Good. These guys should die pretty quickly too. In the meantime, you go up through here. To get these divisions back on the line. Thank God. Dunder and munitions. Were it not for the foundries in Dunder, there would be far less gusto um, than to the militants within the electorate. Tribes Pleasantdale may not have a standing army. Our influence rots of people, and so they seek out guns for their own protection, and even to immediately collect. Following old pre-war designs and schematics dating back to the 20th century, retrofitted with modern lasers and plasma, weapons are among some of the most unique in Western Canada. And while they may not always be regaled with standards of quality, our ability to supply has now matched the side of the Winnipegosis. A thousand bullets for every man. Cool. 
Uh, revisiting old routines. Not all the old guard is gone. With the stampede on the horizon, the kingdom figuring itself out, and the other electoral states in turmoil, we need to be ready. Let's perform the old drills again, even though we could use some manpower too. Can you guys take up Fairy Glen, maybe? Come on, you're almost done here. Hey, we got these guys gone. Nice. Uh, now we'll do this guy for even more political power gain. I get one today. Look at that. We have no stability, but that's all right. It's fine. Whatever. Hey, we got manifesto. Beautiful. As it should be. And then there were two. Are you still fighting down here? Holy cow. So we have up to 15 divisions, they have up to 9 and 11, something like that. Here, here, here. Time for encyclements. Abedin. Take over Petrochico, good. Start cutting them off as much as you possibly can. Good. Go here too. These guys be kept in place. Oh god, that's not good. No. Wrong. Now these guys are all encircled here. Oh god, we we're so close. Getting so much here. Someone here do something. The most important thing in any society is an armed populace. If the military falls, then a bunch of angry lower classmen will make dents in the enemy no one thought possible. Device tool, at least that's good. Are you kidding me? Come on. Get your butts in here. Thank God. Do something here, you ding-dongs. You hurry up. the guy for now, life giver. It's always good. Enemy agent turned. And the operative. It's very important to get down here. Oh, it completely cut them off. Gotta make sure that division does not move. Good. That the Grand Gallery. You remember this place? Go ahead. It's 
Spy Master. Okay, organization attack would be nice. Uh, anything unique? Not really. Cultural advisors, personal community. Now I'll speak. Look at that guy later. Um, more soft attack. Better production costs. It's not bad. Chief of the army. So we'll go down more max planning. Uh, you know what? Among the population is not terrible. You know, get the more soft attack. I like the soft attack. Get them harder. Urging militia groups. Uh, the militias in Denver can both be an excellent reserve and pipeline for getting new members of the regulars. All we need to do is bolster them. I have to do this one, of course. We're attacking them, they're attacking us, all the pretty normal stuff. Let's go in here. Why don't you just hold? Just hang out there. Nope. Nope. No, what, what, what are you doing? That's good at least. Okay, soon is empty. All right then. Well, let's got peace. Well, that was a dumb mistake by the enemy. Nice. Well, we won. Awesome. Well, uh, infantry armor, infantry equipment. Uh, hey, I got plenty of support equipment too. You know what? We're here. We don't have enough of this. Uh, do these guys next? Caravan guards, pacification. Why not? So, dirty deeds done darn cheap. Much as we lie, catcher's use is more calculated. With the fall of the Electra, we ought to have more of a damning sword, like a hammer upon an unruly nail. Uh, we'll make, uh, make him beg for mercy before this is over. A spark blade return. Lugna and his men were once rebels with a glorious cause. Uh, in the face of our resolution, I gesture, of course, to, release, to the release as rightful citizens of this new electorate, to show that good faith hasn't died, at least not yet. Cool. Call him supper. Yeah. Hey, there we go. Nice. I guess. Oh, the gateway's looking pretty thick. The blood of woods, eventually, maybe. Or we're gonna get more civility too. Any special forces would be pretty good to get. Resistors. Eventually, do decode signals, but smoke signals. Followers of the apocalypse. Um. You know what? Well, let them in. It's usually better now for I think to have them than not have them. I think I could be wrong about that, but you know whatever. So a lot of guns. No, we actually are good on guns. But you might want to help out relations with these guys because gun runners. Actually, what? We increase it. Their opinion is 54. It's actually pretty strong. Get some saws, maybe, eventually. Anti tank rifles, Chop Shop. Van Graffs. Butchers, Pete's. Vancouver Mavens. Nothing super unique. It's not bad. Nice. Good stuff. Spark plates. Game set and match. Well, let's get him back, I guess. So this is Blightwood's territory. They called them supper or super. They came from the south, far from south in the states. They told us they were super mutants and they were here to stay. Well, I never invited them, but I'm quite interested in how they function. Why don't we have them enlighten us? We'll get them down as many as we can from the ridiculous asylum. Pioneer kids would be nice too. Hmm. 
That'd be ideal. So many prospectors. How much money have we got now? 20. It's not bad. Spectral Cabal. Ra blowers. 32 factories ain't too shabby either. It's a little ahead of time. This one too. Better support equipment. Exploration, exploration for technology, yes please. Tear for leaf. Well, we'll look up we would be good. Reward on the spark blades. Jacob considered his options. With the cabals and, or cannibals and stoon, and freaks and pleasant deal sorted out, he now held the power that had been stolen from him. However, he found himself without an electorate to be elected by. That wasn't exactly the end of the world. He had bigger fish to fry after all, but there was an image to be considered. This has led him to pine on the state of the spark blades. They've been invaluable during the battles to secure dominance, and would be wise to give their best positions of leadership in the Dunder military, keeping them in the house, as it were. There's another option, however, granting Strasbourg to Lugnut as men to be rulers while still being beneath Jacob's influence. It'd be a good faith reward after all their aid, and at least maintain the illusion that an electorate still existed. Let him lose. Keep them close. Roller sk Oh, we get roller skates! Wait, so... Which one's Strasbourg? Down here. You know what? I kind of want to see what they're like. And let's see if they have unique focus, because if they do, then that's actually really cool, too. And if we don't like them, we don't have to keep them, so... Nuts and Bolts. The last Grand Warband. Oh, there's nothing unique? Oh, well, then we'll probably just annex them, then. Oh, I thought that'd be something cool. Darn it. That kind of sucks. It's doing dandy. Did they call him Super? Yeah. Um, and then we'll be resting upon Dundurn's laurels. The city in Dundurn is a nation. but fail to exist if not for the industry they're in. It's job, safety, and money that flows through the lands, first and foremost. And then eventually we'll have securing our bets. In a city of industry, one must have two things, protection and labor. These units offer both in one package. All they need is coercion, and with the right amount of mind control, well, such things come easily. That's not bad. It's cool. But I think under there, we did, we're very successful. I'm a little disappointed that Strasbourg doesn't have a unique focus tree, but, you know, whatever. If you enjoyed the video, though, please consider leaving a like for Dunder. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we see what else we can do with good old Dunder. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.